So this is my Inktober sketchbook and um, I made it myself. I just took a few sheets of um, Canton watercolor paper, cut it up, folded it over and um, sewed it in. It's all been held together by duct tape and I just glued some construction paper on it so it's a little more presentable. Um, this Inktober, it was my first one and uh, I've been using this stuff mostly with some dip pens. I believe they're all from Speedball and I've had these pens for a few years now and they're very well loved. I guess you could say. And I was using a couple paint brushes. Got dog hair on it. <laughs> so a couple paint brushes for larger areas. A Sharpie, a couple ballpoint pens, and um, these Prismacolor li liners. And they got all different nibs. This one got a little brush point. The other ones got all different fine liners and chisel tips and all the stuff. So yeah, I finished this whole book in a little over a month. Doing one drawing a day, more or less. Yeah, it started out as just my little watercolor book where I would do like warm up, warm ups and all this stuff. But then I figured that since this one is smaller than any other paper I use, um, it would be easier to maintain drawing every day for the challenge. Because if I was to create a big illustration and I mean, all the people who can make a fully a beautiful big illustration for every day for the challenge are freaking heroes and I cannot do that that's why I picked like a really small format to work in so um, I can manage doing it every day without boring out because I decided not to do drawings in advance but I did decide working smaller for that reason it starts out as uh, my little watercolor book. These are all watercolors I own. Um, this one being the highest quality that I use most of the time and the other two being kind of cheap watercolor. This one is the Master Touch in Tubes by Hobby Lobby and this one is uh, um, Gamma. It's a uh, Russian watercolor which is not very good quality as you can see right here. It's not very pigmented but it's okay. You know, I'm not trying to knock it completely. So here's a couple little aromatics. Because that's what I was gonna do at the at first. I was gonna fill this whole book with the uh, aromatic herbs, but then I kind of switched it to watercolor in a few in a few pages. This is the prompt list that I was following, and it's a list created by an artist I follow on Instagram very closely. Um, his name is uh, Eve More Spiders. He's a really cool dude, and uh, I'm gonna uh, put some links in the description, I guess. He's a uh, him and his followers created this prompt list, and um, I was following that. So this starts with internet magic. So I drew some porn. <laughs> it's not really porn, porn, but it's implied to be porn on the on the screen. And I was really, really unsure about the lines because I don't really do too much line, land art, and uh, I go with color a lot of times. So um, working black and white was very, <laughs> was very unfamiliar with for me. That's why I opted to using a lot of ink washes because it was something more familiar I could do with. Um, because I do a lot of watercolor on daily. So this is Ceramic Devil, and uh, so I thought I had a few different ideas for it, and I have a little pocket right here for trash cards. So I started out the month sketching in my ideas on little um, index cards, I guess. I also use them for mixing colors. So as for Ceramic Devil, I had a couple 
different variations of it. It was supposed to be... First I was gonna draw kind of like a alcohol jug shaped like devil's head. Then it was gonna be cup of coffee and then I really like this one on the bottom. It's uh, like a little candle ho holder with <laughs> a little devil face on it. But I decided to go with the um, with this evil garden gnome situation. Then the banshee was the the way I started it, but it did not exactly translate the same. You know, I kind of like the this this one a little better, but it's alright. Then I was shaman, and I decided to go with the really kind of mysterious dude, I guess. This one's pretty offensive because it's just a card that cusses you out because you get insufficient funds. Then plants, and I was inspired by a movie called Labyrinth. There's um, there's a scene where the guy gets devoured by flowers, so this is kind of the labyrinth. Did I say the labyrinth? The fountain. The fountain of the labyrinth. So, and uh, he gets kind of devoured by flowers, so this is kind of what I went with. On this day I was sick, so I just did a little bad person, and I really don't like this one, but, you know, what can you do? And it was free, and I still wasn't feeling too good, so I just scribbled in on one line portrait sort of deal. And this undead party, it was supposed to be kind of like a clubbing picture, but you know, the club goers will take pictures in, uh, in there, so they were supposed to be partying. But, I don't know, and I didn't translate to it too well, like she's doing like the peace sign and whatnot. But uh, I didn't really translate into kind of the photography of the club or like at the party kind of deal. But it's alright. Then this, I liked the sketch so much, so I decided to start drawing on um, on those index cards straight on. And I did for a little while, but um, the paper is the paper is really smooth, and it interacts with inks pretty well because you're supposed to write on them with pens. But um, they were a little too thin, in my opinion. So this is the samurai. I really like this one. And um, these two are probably my favorites, my favorite illustrations from the whole month. So uh, and uh, I drew Kali, which is a Hindu goddess. And uh, it was it was a lot of hustle drawing all the arms in. <laughs> then it was Francis Flash. It's a little nurse from um. Silent Hill, because so when I think about Rancid Flash, I think about Silent Hill monsters, because most, like, half of them are just chunks of flesh walking around. <laughs> then Alchemy, I draw a little alchemy setup. Cyber Ghost, I, ha I was struggling with this concept, but then I was like, yeah, I'm joking, like, 80s rat guy with the VR set on, and it's gonna be... <laughs> He's gonna be riding a skateboard, but I don't know. It made sense to me at the at the point, but it doesn't make much sense to me right now. I don't know if you can see the shine of the silver marker or not. Then the vampire karate, I choose blood rain, and then black magic. Like a little witch fairy kind of deal with a, a skeletal face when she sticks her her head into the black magic smoke. <laughs> and then da dungeon. It's a little oil plague doctor character in dungeon. Then witch's altar. So I was kind of confused because it said on the prompt list said altar, but not altar. And I was a little confused. And I think it was supposed to be altar, like 
the worshipping thing but then I thought alters I usually call the different personalities somebody with the um, um, like split personalities so I drew a few more faces on her and uh, yeah I like I like this one a lot but the prompt itself is a little finicky you know the deadliest weapon I drew this little crystal knife and uh, I actually like it a lot it's like all shiny and kind of made out of quartz I guess which wouldn't be the deadliest weapon but it's kind of I didn't want to go into like bombs and stuff so I just drew like fantasy weapon and wolves I drew a little firewolf from Adventure Time because I think they're stinking cute really like the zombie character because of all this grass hatching in the back I think it looks really cool but other than that it's, it's pretty it's a pretty generic zombie type of guy skeleton warrior I carry it on with the uh, hatching in the background and it's kind of a very generic skeletal warrior I guess but I'm fairly literal when it comes to things like that especially when the prompt is not very like abstract but very specific and then taco tuesday i drew little spider tacos with a little ball of salsa on the side you can see it that's kind of gross it's not kind of gross they're gross man i really like this traveler character traveler i drew a little old lady with her cat and then her like tea kettle and she's traveling from the, from the mountain and uh it makes me miss my grandma so much then pumpkin head so i drew a little pumpkin head guy carving another pumpkin and um i don't know it's kind of ambiguous because he could be he could be carving a new friend for himself he could be making new face for himself or it could be a scene of horrible horrible murder you you never know and there was another free prompt and uh, I was a little confused what to draw, what to draw and I was a little a tiny bit burnt out so I just said draw myself and my little dog it was it was a cute quick sketch kind of a guilty pleasure evil babies they are like absolutely demented little babies look at them look at their third eyes especially like the one on the left because he has like this cheeky ass smile <laughs> then this one was another free prompt so i drew some hands holding some flowers and then i drew the killer queen and i was thinking killer bees queen bee so it makes sense if I make a queen and make her a bee <laughs> but she's still human but she's a bee she got a little honeycomb <laughs> crown on her she's wearing like leather gloves because she's a killer queen uh, it made sense at the time and then religion I am not a religious person and I don't mean to shit on anybody who is religious and you know you have your faith and that's cool and all but I don't know I just decided to go like darker with it I guess and it's kind of like the the web that is devouring the guy he's all like lost and confused and whatnot so that's 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 a little dark I guess and then the, the last one was my username and I was like I literally have no idea <laughs> so I just drew myself and uh, yeah and that's the end of my that's the end of my inktober overall I found that like keeping it smaller keeping the drawing smaller helped me with um, keeping up with it because I did pop out the drawing every day I did not pre-draw them or any of that so every day I was doing a new drawing 
And it, it kind of got me a little burnt out by the end, but not too, too much. So it wasn't too, too bad. And since this whole book is finished, I'm just going to show you the rest too. It's kind of like the little sculpture in, um, in some ivy. <laughs> a little outfit. And I was thinking it was gonna be kind of like a steampunky lolly kind of thing. So it's like very poofy skirt, a lot of ruffles, but it's all like coppery and earthy tones. It was a little reach out flash design. I like it a lot. And in the back, you can see like I tried to draw some seaweed because you know drowning in sadness we gotta reach out some weird elf dude I don't draw too many men but I'm trying and uh, let's see I decided to draw an elf dude smoking and just a little figure study not a figure study and then there were kind of um, little sketches for the traveler prompt and first I was thinking about like maybe doing something over the garden wall style and I decided not to and then I was gonna draw like a little dog with like her little satchel just running and traveling I guess but then I decided to draw the old lady who was there I was another trying to draw a profile of a dude and uh didn't particularly work <laughs> so but yeah it's um my inktober sketchbook overall i think it was it wasn't too hard keeping up with it but i also was really excited because it was my first inktober ever because last time i literally drew one day and then i gave up so i was really excited about being able to finish the whole thing and uh, yeah it was really wasn't too hard for me especially considering that I got a lot of time on my hands right now so it wasn't too too hard to keep up with it but by the end of the month I was kind of over it I guess and for the most part it was really hard for me to start coming up with a like creative ideas by the end of the month but you know you live you learn and I'm not very proud of all the drawings, but I'm pretty proud that I could finish being sober on time and not be horribly behind and pop out a little ink drawing every day. It was kind of was nice because it kind of became a ritual for me. I would make some tea and I sit down with my cup of tea and draw a little ink sober doodle and um, yeah, it was, it was pretty nice. Overall, I think that if you are not a person who is into like monthly challenges or like doing things every day, you know, it's, I wouldn't force it because on one hand, like you cannot force yourself because you can burn out really easily. But on the other hand, like if you're forcing it and you, you could be retraining yourself to being able working like in a routine because I am all about routine like I'm a horrible procrastinator so I need a routine to keep me going so that was really nice but you know if you didn't finish it it's okay there's always next year there's always Hugh Ember coming up which I don't think I'm gonna do but oh we'll see so but yeah thank you for watching um uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me here, follow me on Twitter, you know, subscribe to my channel and um, follow Eat More Spiders. And um, you have a great day, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.